That is my honest opinion on the perfect push-up. Yo, internet, what is going on, man? It is your boy, Mel, and welcome back to my channel, Flex, Eat, Repeat, where that's all that I do. But if this is your first time here at my channel, welcome to my channel, all right? My channel is all about fitness and just helping you guys out on your own fitness journey. In this video, I'm actually be, going to be going over the uh, perfect push-up elites. I've actually had these for a couple of years now, five years to be exact. And to be completely honest with you, I haven't used them uh, until maybe like a month and a half ago where, you know, quarantine has been happening and I've really just been working out at home because I haven't had a gym. So these things, these are actually about $29.99 uh, on Amazon. At least that's what I got them for and at least that's what I've seen the last time I checked on Amazon. Now on the Perfect Push-Up website itself, I believe it's $26.99. But I've seen comments of people who said that they've gotten it for like 18 or 19 bucks at Walmart. So you might be able to get a better deal for this if this is actually what you're trying to you know, look for. For the build itself, it's actually extremely durable, dude. And I'm very surprised about it. These things, I've done all kinds of push-ups. I've done regular push-ups, feet elevated push-ups, resistance band push-ups, uh, you know, weighted push-ups with a dip belt. And they all, you know, it held up extremely nicely. But what I really like the most is really the grip that these things have. Um, I've used them on carpet and I've used them on hardwood and I have not had a single issue in these slipping at all, which honestly, if you're doing like weighted push-ups, that's gonna be a concern. Um, you know, you don't wanna be slipping when you got weight on or if you're doing feet elevated push-ups or whatever. These things are said to have up to 400 pounds of capacity. Now, I don't have any weight to even get close to that capacity, so I don't know how that would hold up, but if you're a little bit on the heavier side, I really have no doubt that these things would be able to you know, support you. Now, in terms of size, these things are actually very small, which I really like because, you know, most likely if you're getting these, you probably have a home gym and you can really just, you know, use these and then just dump them in the corner and forget about them, which is really good. Or if you're doing some kind of traveling, um, and you know, you do like home workouts or whatever, you can really just dump these in your bag and that's about it. And you know, it fits nicely in your luggage, which I think is really good. And in terms of weight, um, on the website itself, it said that these are two pounds and, but trust me guys, these are extremely light. So if you're doing any traveling or anything like that, these are very easy to carry. Okay. So now what does the perfect push-up elite give you? So. This is actually what I didn't know when I first got into fitness and I got these. Uh, I honestly, I really just got these initially a couple of years ago because of all the advertisements and you know, I just thought it looked cool. But anyway, so the handles themselves are actually about four and a half inches from the ground. So if you guys don't know, elevating your hands, um, this will essentially increase the range of motion of your push-up. Now, due to the increased range of motion that the perfect push-up gives, you definitely won't be able to do as many push-ups with these as you would in a regular push-up. And that's because, you know, with a regular push-up, you're already limited by the floor. Whereas with these, since your hands are elevated, you get that deeper stretch from that increased range of motion. In terms of the handles themselves, um, this is actually probably one of the greatest things that I actually like about it. Is it actually lets you use a fist grip as opposed to using like this. Now, if you're somebody who's like me, I absolutely hate doing push-ups with like my hands like that. You know, palm up like that because I feel a lot of wrist discomfort and I just absolutely hate it. I much rather prefer doing knuckle push-ups as opposed to, you know, the palms out push-ups. But this actually solves that. Um, it just lets you use your, your fist and it feels a lot better. Um, and, it, and it essentially feels like a reverse dumbbell bench press. Another feature too is probably the most popular feature of this thing is the rotating handles themselves. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, there's absolutely nothing special about this. Although the one thing I do like about it is it does promote good form in the sense that it helps you tuck those elbows in. Um, just because obviously if you're doing a push-up, you don't wanna be flaring your elbows out like that. That's how you get uh, shoulder injuries. But with this, since you get to turn it inside like that, you get that elbow tucking like that, right? And it just promotes um, just better form. But honestly, if you have these, I'm gonna assume that you're not a beginner at push-ups and you already know to be tucking your elbows in. Okay, so here are my thoughts on these things. If I knew then what I know now, would I still get these? Honestly, guys, probably not. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I got these like five years ago and I found these in my parents' place uh, about a month and a half ago. I totally forgot I had them. But prior to finding them, um, you know, I've been working out at home for the last two months now. And prior to finding them, I was actually doing push-ups with my adjustable dumbbells. And honestly, guys, it pretty much mimics the same thing. 
Um, if you use dumbbells, um, especially if you have big dumbbells, it essentially mimics the increased range of motion. And if you're using dumbbells, it already has, um, it, it lets you use that fist grip in a sense. The only thing that you wouldn't have, of course, would just be the rotating handles. But honestly, guys, if you're already great at push-ups, you already know to be tucking your elbows in. So there's really nothing special about it. But if you have huge dumbbells already, um, you could essentially just mimic the same thing with this. All right. I mean, you're not going to be missing anything out of it. Um, and one thing I noticed too, since using these for the last month is, um, I really like, you know, I already mentioned with the whole rotating inside, that's cool. Um, but you do feel more muscle activation because you get the instability of the handles themselves, because when you're doing a push up with these, you know, you have the rotating thing itself that your body has to stabilize itself from. But, and especially when you're tucking your elbows in, of course, if you guys already know, you're going to be feeling a lot more tricep as opposed to the chest when you're tucking them in. And then when you, when you rotate your elbows out, that's when you feel the chest. But what I've noticed in using these as opposed to using my dumbbells guys, is that of course, since I'm tucking the elbows in, I feel a lot more tricep. And that's really not a problem if that's your goal, but my main goal is hypertrophy, muscle building, body build, uh, bodybuilding. And right now, since I don't have a gym, I'm really doing the push-up to maximize you know, the damage on my chest. And if I'm failing in my push-up because my triceps are given out so that extra activation, then I'm really not getting the benefit um, in doing the push-up itself. Uh, I compared the chest contraction with my dumbbells compared to the ch chest contraction with these. And I essentially feel about the same chest contraction, guys. Um, so my Bowflex dumbbells and these are essentially about the same height, so I get about the same range of motion. The only thing I don't like about my dumbbells is that they're huge, so sometimes my chest, at the bottom of the movement, I hit my dumbbells, but it's really not that big of a deal, but I pretty much feel the same amount of uh, chest contraction, guys. Um, but with these, I definitely feel a lot more triceps. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with that, but if this is causing me, um, to be limited in my push-ups due to my triceps, then I'm not gonna be able to stress my chest as much as I can, and I'm not gonna be able to get as much hypertrophy. Now, one thing that I would've liked with the perfect push-up itself is if it had a locking mechanism in it. So this whole thing just rotates freely, and there's nothing that could lock it in place if you want it to be locked for whatever reason. Um, let's say you don't want to be doing the rotating and you just want to be doing regular push-up, but just with the increased range of motion and with the, uh, the fist grip, well, there's nothing to lock it in place. Now, yes, you can do push-ups with it without doing the turning, but like I mentioned earlier, you're always going to have that stability factor in there. And if that stability is going to be stopping you from reaching the, you know, maximum hypertrophy for your chest, then you know that stability will always be a limiting factor in how much in your gains. So, like I said, if you have a huge pair of dumbbells, um, you could essentially just use that instead of this. Uh, you'll essentially get the same thing with the increased range of motion. You just wouldn't have the, the rotating handles, which really there's nothing special about the rotating handles themselves. Um, you could still make gains without it. I mean, if the rotating handles were a magic bullet everybody in the gym would be doing this just to grow their chest, all right? Now, if you have some small dumbbells, you could still elevate them using some books or boxes or whatever, and you'll still get the same effect with that increased range of motion. So don't think you're missing out just because you don't have these guys. And with the dumbbells themselves, you'll still have that fist grip. And like I said, you just won't have that rotating factor into it. You know, there's no magic bullet to this thing. Now, if you don't have dumbbells, but you still want to get like a pair of push-up bars, you can really just go on Amazon and get like a solid pair of push-up bars for like 15 to 20 bucks, um, you'll still get the increased range of motion with the, the heightened handles and um, you'll still get that fist grip with the bar itself. So the only thing you want to have similar to the dumbbells would be the rotating handles. But like I said, you're really not missing out if you don't have it. Who do I think should get these? Well, for one, if you do a lot of like purely calisthenics and Maybe, you know, you do a lot of skill work and eventually you want to move on to Olympic rings or, you know, Olympic ring push-ups or Olympic ring dips or whatever. You know, maybe this will help with that stability factor. You, you might be able to use it as kind of like a little progression towards the Olympic rings. And also, if you do a lot of home workouts or you travel a lot and work out at the hotel, um, you know, that might be a reason you, you might want to get these. Or if you have wrist problems and you don't have dumbbells, maybe you don't want to get like regular push-up bars and you want to get this instead. But... Like I mentioned earlier, guys, um, you, you could really just 
you know, get a regular push-up bar for that increased range of motion, probably for cheaper than this, um, and, uh, you know, have the, uh, the fist grip too. Um, but if you can find this for cheap, for whatever reason, then hey, go for it, all right? Okay, so now for people who I think should not get these, one, if you train mostly at the gym itself, you know, you do a lot of weightlifting and whatever, chances are you're not going to the freaking gym to do push-ups, all right? You're paying that money for the barbells, for the dumbbells, for the machines themselves that you're not gonna be going there just to do push-ups, all right? So if you mostly train at the gym and you never train at home, you're probably not gonna wanna get these and you're probably not wanna go, wanna go through the effort of actually carrying this in your gym bag, all right? Even though it's only two pounds, it takes up space, you know, you probably have all that crap in your gym bag anyway, so you're probably not gonna wanna have that in there. So if you mostly train at the gym, I suggest that you do not get these. Now, another thing too, guys, if you are an absolute beginner to push-ups, let's say for instance, you, you can't you know, do five push-ups itself, I probably wouldn't get these. You might wanna get these for the handles themselves, you know, the fist grip, but you know, like I said, you could probably just get some small dumbbells to mimic the, the fist grip or just use knuckle grip if that helps. But if you're an absolute beginner to push-ups, the increased range of motion will just make things harder for you. And, you know, and also the, the rotating handles, um, you know, it, it's, it's already, you know, regular push-ups is, is already difficult enough and adding in a rotating element and an instability factor will just make things a lot more difficult for you. So if you're absolutely brand new to push-ups, I probably would not get these guys. And for you guys who already have dumbbells at home or if you have a push-up bar already and you're thinking about getting these for the rotating handles themselves, honestly, I would probably say just save your money um, you're really not missing out on anything with the rotating handles themselves. And I would probably just save that money towards some other type of home equipment, whether that's another set of adjustable dumbbells or whatever else that you guys need. Now, th this is a great piece of equipment in, in itself, but you're, you're not gonna instantly make a thousand gains overnight, all right? Um, you still have to go through a progressive overload and whatnot. So there's nothing special about this, guys, but if you want to get it, you, you go for it. I'm not against it, all right? I think it's cool, but I'm just saying that if you don't wanna spend $30 or you're really like penny pinching, I would not spend it on these, all right? I've been using these for about a month and a half now, and they're pretty cool, but would I buy them again? Probably not, but you know, that is, that's just my honest opinion, all right? Now, leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about the Perfect Push-Up? Have you used these before? Or do you use regular push-up bars? Or let me know what you guys use, all right? Leave a comment down below. And if this video definitely helped you out, please consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this or drop me a thumbs up, all right? And I'll catch y'all in the next video.